Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We're going to continue our Black Cells adventure with Season 2, Episode 5 today. <laughs> I don't know what that dance was. <laughs> Let's see the fallout of the political warfare on the beach, yes? Hope you guys have your coffee with me. Or whatever your choice of beverage is. My father arrived. Oh, we're starting off strong. Didn't think they were actually show this. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> oh, I don't think Anne likes that. Sorry, I'm not going to be able to show that on YouTube. So, YouTube, we're opening up with Max, Anne, and Max kind of doing the, the tango, right? Anne's mostly facing Max and um, Jack's with Anne. Uh, but then Max and Jack make eye contact and then Max reaches out to Jack and Anne's like, mm, what is going on? So you guys can now picture this peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It appears we lost track of time. Obviously, it's going to cause more problems. One might consider that Max might, you know, involve herself with Jack a little bit to cause a little bit or secure herself more with Anne. I don't know. Possibility. People, the, the thing is that... The thing is that I don't think people are going to trust Flint more with this. People on the beach, on the island. Please. I think that's going to cause a big problem. Please stop. Surely you must realize this is a fruitless errand. The time for conciliation is well past. <gasps> I must try. Kudos to you, Why? Mrs. Barlow. Her nose bridge is like perfect. It makes you wonder if Thomas knew. He had to have known. There's no way he didn't. My father said he would never let your proposal come to a vote. I do believe he meant it. The rest, the rest of it is meaningless without the pardons. They're the only hope for redeeming Nassau. I know, which is why we'll keep on fighting. Oh, I like that. This Lord Ash is such an interesting character now that it's added to the mix. I apologize for pausing so much, but I want to talk about the, the, the proposal. Especially for during these times, I think anything that was viewed as change, abnormal, or mm, challenging the status quo, quote, 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 you guys know what I'm saying, the social standards was extremely frowned upon extremely so really what thomas is doing is basically revolutionary i i think I'm, I'm i'm kind of assuming and and it really makes me think of thomas as a character ahead of his time ahead of his time the world was just not ready for thomas i'm going to make arrangements to leave for the country please this fight with your father, the more public it gets, the more visible it gets, the greater the liability I will be for you. Liability? <gasps> How could you possibly believe The lieutenant that? ship arrived this morning. It's not the rumors that concern me, it's the scrutiny that follows that. And what that scrutiny might unearth. So someone might discover you and he shared a bed. <gasps> you know! Past that and discover something far more damaging. Oh, actually, that makes sense. Wow. Thomas was ahead of his time. Okay, so it makes sense why Thomas doesn't care. I thought he was just open minded, right? Like free spirit and all, but it makes sense why Thomas um, was like, yeah, okay, fall in love with the lieutenant because, you know, he has his own secrets. Oh man. That just made everything more complicated. She's 
unfortunately right he's already challenging one thing if this comes to play especially back then i don't think they would look too kindly upon it when i arrived the pain had caused him to to do what he did but in that moment he believed it necessary to preserve the hunt for the urca and her gold oh he says he telling him the truth Flint killed him oh yeah he was gonna find out anyway yes He's still captain. Wow. Oh, that with the gold still sitting on that beach, he represents our best, perhaps our only chance of retrieving it. Once this business with Vane and the fort is over, that is what the rest of us intend. Gates was like a father to Billy. But once you have a moment to process all of this, you'll remember that you were the same man who had handed a blank page pulled from Mr. Silver's Gosh, it just looks up so painful. Captain for the sake of the bigger picture. Yeah, and how did the captain repay him? And the same kind of perspective is what's called for now. Enough. I'm going to see my brothers now. <gasps> Until I know what you're going to say to the men. I can't let you say anything. Well, how is he supposed to possibly trust you if you're doing this? You know, it just doesn't help the situation at all. I mean, he can always pretend, right? Honestly, that would be the smartest move, I think. He returns at last. It's good to have you back, Captain. Sir. Welcome home. If you were able to secure the support of the royal governor in Nassau, it might just be the thing that turns the tide in our favor. There is no governor in Nassau. Oh. I understand the dispute arose over a bribe. Oh, Money no. that Governor Thompson felt he was owed by a particular pirate captain. Thompson refused, at which point a dozen armed men broke into his home, dragged his wife and nine-year-old son out into the street and slit their throats. Oh, this is not gonna... Oh, no. No one's gonna want to pardon them at all. At all. But what is clear is this. Right now, there's no law in Nassau. Trying to Man. imagine standing up before the lords and suggesting pardons for these people. You can't. You can't. There's no way this this I mean, goes through. Time of it. We cannot. We must not allow their actions to condemn the rest. Our plan is dead. The navy hasn't made its case yet. If the sea lords were to recommend a change of strategy, who would ignore them? The war has got nothing to do with it, doesn't it? By offering our plan directly to the sea lords, making our case to them. They'd hear you. Yes, I think they would. I don't know. Could it work? It just seems like a stretch. It's clear to me now that what lies ahead is the road to ruin. And I'm asking you to stop this right now before we've all gone too far to turn back. It's quite good. But here's the thing. The crew's banner is a sacred thing. It must be something approaching perfection any idea what direction that might be darling i think we'll both know it when we see it <laughs> stalls ain't procured articles ain't signed i've seen the draft articles i'm fine with them as is at the men eight they got some changes you and i ought to discuss i love this Ooh, changes i love this demo de democratic or I love this this conversation. I love that that the crew is talking with the captain to form an alliance and an agreement, and they're actually talking. You know, it's not like, "Hey, you work under me; these are my rules. Follow it." Yes. Need to make any progress? Slowly but surely. I wonder if Anne has to earn her respect again. It can wait. That ain't letting up anytime soon. Oh, looks like she does. Excuse me. Do you think he's still in it? Given a choice between capitulation and survival, I don't imagine that to be much of a choice for him at all. He's in that fort, I assure you. I think Charles Vane is something you and I survived. What happens to him now is no longer of any concern to me. This morning. You and Max. Interesting how she still thinks of Vane. I've got no right. We'll get through it. Oh, always do, don't we? He's feeling a little jealous. I think this—that's still shaky right now, but 
I like how they keep reassuring the other one that they'll get through it. Mom, are you hurt? <sighs> I like how this gives us a better picture of the island. I like this. Way towards the end, which we have all been seeking. Thomas, he sees only the principle. That's why I love him. But you, you see the world as it is. You see its truths and how to navigate them, how to bend them to your will. It's why I love you. It's true. So there is this, like, like she said, it's, it's the right thing to do. But the realistic thing is that the pirates are not going to just accept this change and be grateful for a pardon. Okay, it's not going to go smoothly. It might not even go well at all. That is the realistic outlook of it. The right thing to do would be, you know, to 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 follow Thomas's plan and to work to build a better world if everyone wants the same thing too it's very difficult to even have one bad apple it could tumble it all down men like thomas need men like you to protect them from the world and that is what i am asking you to do i have been the subject of enough ridicule and innuendo to know the difference between a little danger and mortal danger and i'm telling you that what you and thomas and i face right now is the latter What's been going on in this house isn't just some affair. No. No, it isn't. But since when did you care what people think? This isn't a you know what? scandal. It isn't a state of mind. They hang men for this. Don't be naive. You know what? When they have political motive, they use it as a pretense to hang men. Don't treat me like I'm someone else. I know what London is too. I appreciate Mrs. Mrs. Barlow right now. not want those pardons issued. And when he finds out what has been going on in this house, he will use it to ruin us. Even if he were to find out, he wouldn't use it against us. Now who's being naive? Why take the risk? For the sake of the pirates of NASA? Miranda, I saw it. I was there. Thomas was right about its promise. Wow. <sighs> You're suggesting we go there. Th this is a huge design. fork right now. I've known Admiral Hennessy since I was a boy. He's the closest thing I have to a father. Let me raise the plan with him. Seek his counsel. There's no risk in that. This is too important not to try. Wow. <sighs> the writing is so good. It's just so good. Everything they're saying is right. It just is. These are two very, very strong points. You guys let me know what you would have done at this point. Would you have listened to Miranda or would you have created, tried to create a new world like Flint and Thomas? This is so dangerous. I asked myself, what could go wrong? <laughs> How long do you expect before the men amassing themselves on the beach begin their assault? Two hours. Oh, what's Vane going to do? Awesome. What is Vane going to Take do? Take her back to the cell. Make sure she remains safe while I'm gone. No one is to touch her. Understood? So you're leaving? It's too great of a force to defeat. If we attempt to fight the body of it, the only way to beat it is to cut off its head. Oh, he's going after Flint himself. <sighs> God. The misfortune of being in his God. Mr. Underhill received word of your proposal to form a partnership to sell his goods on your ships. He said no. But it was the manner in which he said no that is most promising. An errant shot from the warship hit a set of stores outside the southwest gate, set it ablaze. Inform Mr. Lawrence he needs to move his powder stock to my warehouse here immediately. And ask Virgil to take five men to help put out that fire. Ma'am. This is crazy. Has he made any signal to surrender? No, ma'am. You're dismissed. God. What the fuck does that mean? So much is at risk. Say yes. You desire legitimacy in the eyes of London, but you cannot have it until you find a way to ship something other than stolen goods. There is a partnership to be had here. I can oh, prove it. And there is I only one it. thing standing in the way. 
If you were to appear to divest yourself of your association with the crews on account... You are unbelievable. And though I know you were standing there passing this, trying to identify how my interest diverged from yours here, I suspect you're not finding it. And it's because it isn't there to be found. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. He hasn't showed this consistent loyalty, or has he? Hmm. You want me to prove to Underhill that I can be his partner? I don't know. I feel like we've 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 heard him say, "I just want Eleanor to be safe," right? So if she starts selling legitimate goods, it definitely would make her safer and give her a future. Do we trust her dad? I not a hundred percent. I don't think he's gaining nothing out of it, but I do want to lean towards he wants something good for her. Now, should Eleanor do it? Or would you want to? It's a whole other question. That I can be trustworthy. Then you have to prove the same to me. Okay, I have that's spent fair. a lifetime exposed to you. If I can identify the specific motive or not. I still come to expect that stench any time you darken my door. It's true. If she, if he's been lying to her for her whole life, I... He can't just take his word for, for it immediately. Even if the information were to be divulged that the goal is still to be won, even if another crew could discern a specific location, even if they could he'd be, it rapidly he'd have a there, very big head start, still be yeah. Facing a warship standing between them and their prize. Adhere to our plan. You will have your gold and I'll have my fort. Unless Vane destroys the warship somehow. Ooh. I like that. I need to speak with you alone. I have come upon some information which changes things for you. You must not move against that fort. I understand why you need this island. I understand it all because I was there the day our lives ended and all of this began. I have been loyal. I'm seeing her in a different light. You since that day and I am asking you to come with me so that I can save your life. You know what? I, I'm viewing Mrs. Barlow differently. There's I am. Here today. Hmm. An opportunity we can save NASA and all it takes is for us to do a very reasonable thing. I know how it looks for me even to raise the subject with you here, but this is too important to be deterred by dangers imagined. You perceive the danger about this to be imagined. Oh, that's a good line. I told you to be aware of just how sharp and unexpected the knife would be if you discounted that danger. I thought you'd heard me, son. Oh, it's gonna be a no. Lord Hamilton isn't someone we should be wary of. He is exactly the kind of man we should be listening to. But a measure of a man is in the moment when he is confronted by himself, by opposing voices in his head, both arguing that they are right, that one has to be wrong. To know the difference in that moment, mm -hmm. that is what makes an officer, what makes a man. Well, I see the difference here, sir. This, I guess, this, I love I love the background for Flint because this shows exactly why he's a good captain and a leader. All of these skills that he learned growing up, um, all of these conversations that he's had, his mentors, everything, everyone he's learned from over here, I, I believe it's London, in London, it actually translates into him being a captain. This is amazing. This really is amazing. Great. I know. Oh boy. He that the plan's a bust. You did. And he told me what you did. Bust. Sir, I don't know what he told you, but Yes, you do. Oh, I would my like to God. I would like to remind myself that every man has his flaws. I would like to help you recover from yours, but not this. It is too profane. It is too loathsome to be dismissed. This ends quietly. Permanently. You are summarily discharged from service. <gasps> no charges will be drawn against you, provided you leave London quietly and oh, are no. seen nor heard from again. You know what? I think Private being a sea lord was so important to him. This is his entire life. No wonder he couldn't just give it all up. Where's Thomas? They came. The Earl's men, they took him. 
Took him? Took him where? Bethlehem Royal Hospital. He is to be committed there owing to his uncontrollable grief over having learned of my affair with you. <gasps> oh. That is what the story will be. To vacate this house and oh my goodness. you and I are to disappear. Perhaps at some point I can figure out a way to get you back here. I'm not leaving. James. We're going to get him out of there. This is too what? risky. Do you think you're angry about this? I'm beyond that. I am enraged! Because she warned you. Before they took him away, he made me promise him, no matter what happened next, that you and I <laughs> would take care of each other. Thomas! Okay, heads down, Thomas has become one of my favorite characters. His compassion and the way he sees the world is so beautiful. I wish everyone could see it <laughs> the same way. <laughs> oh my god. Like, the he's being taken away. He knows everything's ruined. And the last thing he wishes is for his wife and best friend to be happy together. Wow. This is, this is, this is great. I love this show so much. The danger here is real. Yes, I agree. Thomas is gone this is like, wow this is crazy we won't be with your friends we're not going to paris or brussels or amsterdam and where are you going that's a bold move from flint too though i i, I think mrs barlow would have been happier in paris or amsterdam wait also this brings up the question is thomas actually is thomas actually dead or is he still committed <gasps> is that why flint wants to take care of the island so much so that way thomas has a place to come to i would love that oh wow talk about loyalty Oh, I wish he could like, just team up with Vane and make this happen. I honestly think if he teams up with Vane and Eleanor, if they could just <clears throat> just talk it out, this could happen. Wow. To your knowledge, have any of Flint's crew made their way up to the brothel since coming ashore? Well, maybe. They was told to stay the fuck away from it. To prevent them from divulging a secret. Oh the arca if jack gets ahead of this that would be amazing or when he finally decides to visit you i'd like to know what he has to say about the arca gold you haven't heard oh she already knows everyone's saying it wasn't there indulge me will you mr racken mm. a word with me okay she keeps coming up Hmm. I have my eye on you. We need to talk about these articles. We could have the conversation, just uh, you and I. I wonder if he's going to defend Dan. I think he is. Obviously. Max, let me stop you there. That particular woman is a bond of prostitutional intelligence. That's not an easy thing to sell men. On a new ship, used to a certain way of doing things. The this guy is, is a character. Ain't the only item the men took issue with. Huh. I guess Jack is also revolutionary too. What exactly about Anne? The fact that she's a part of the crew or what? Well, it's no problem. The crew have elected to set sail. What did you do, Jack? You cut her out? So again, Fox, your problem. There was a complication in the finalizing of the articles. I knew this was gonna happen. It's the whole share, isn't it? It is. It's the second of the two issues I find more troubling. What's that? You. It would appear that while the crew <gasps> to give her at least oh the, that's the right situation that's right that you were the prime mover behind it and they are less willing to forgive it or forget it in your case they don't want me know the whole you know what i was so fixated on on jack's reputation but i forget like Anne. obviously this is not a good look she did orchestrate it, and of course, no crew's going to trust her again when she threw her crew into the ground. Her loyalty is with Jack, not the crew. And if you're part of the crew, you have to be loyal to, well, it's, it's like, a, like a brothership, you know? That makes sense. It was put to me that they will accept one or the other, but not both. One or the other? 
How are we going to get her to keep turning out those leaves when she finds out she... Oh, my God. He chose Max. <laughs> this is not good. It's only temporary. Until I gain their trust. Sooner than later, I'll be able to make the case to them directly. It doesn't be matter. Oh. never happen. You betrayed her trust. I chose her. <gasps> they gave me a choice, but it was no choice. It cost me their trust and then the captaincy. What is best for both of us in the final analysis? We will sail at the head of this crew. It just requires this sacrifice. Oh, my God. To ensure it. Anne? Anne? He's right. He's right. Logically speaking, yes, this is... She brings in profit for the crew, which they need, and the brothel, etc. But emotionally speaking, and if you're talking about the trust of relationships, this was horrible, an actual disaster. This was a lose-lose situation. Jack's always in a lose-lose situation. I mean, why are you the one here defending him? Yes, I suppose it must come as some surprise given the state of things when last we saw each other. Yeah, it's true. But it's become clear to me that a crew requires two men to function. One to tell them what to do and another to tell them why they should want to do it. And at the end of the day, and all else being equal, liked is just as good as feared. You know what? He, he is very charismatic. We like him. Wow. <laughs> if he says it, yeah, no, it's true. You thought Flint killed both me and Gates. And then you queued up to be the next to fill the post. I don't know if you're either very dangerous or very stupid. But I will avoid the mistake you both made. I don't believe in him. Mm. To me, he is a means of securing a very valuable prize. No more, no less. Having that separation Which as quartermaster, I think, is crucial. Keep focusing on how I went in. Perhaps you should be more worried about the thing that took me out. Really? Now you this. bring up a good point. Had I been here, I doubt it would have been this easy for you. Sooner or later, you need to release me. I have some choice. Oh, well, he's here, you don't. We like him, too. Yeah. Yeah, everyone likes Billy. Thank you. Thank you for Randall. <sighs> My God. Everything is a conundrum. Everything. So... So, I don't know if this is the truth or not, but I don't know if Billy really just fell in the water or if Flint threw him in the water. Though you perceive my actions in recent weeks to have been taken with little regard for your welfare, the truth is exactly the opposite. See, that's what I was thinking too, but I don't know. To I don't know yet. After Mother was killed in the Rosario raid, you left me here. The reprehensible shit does something like that to a little girl. And then asks her to trust him again. True. That in that moment, the only way I could think to carry on was to immerse myself in business and to remove myself from this place, from her memory. It does make sense, but it's very hard to maturely to come to an agreement that each... Bullshit. That the tragedy affected each of them differently. You left me here because I wasn't your son. Yes. Oh. Well, I was focused on the work and I saw no future in which a daughter would have a meaningful part in that. That's, I guess, we're saying the truth. Look how wrong I was. You are making real what was for decades a fantasy. You are doing this without any help from me, nor from Whitehall, nor from anyone. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. Entirely of your own making. Mm -mm. And it is miraculous. You have proven me so very wrong. Maybe he I wants her to be proud. success so he can take the credit for it. It's his name. I have Flint here. It would be best if we could be alone. I wonder how he's going to react knowing that Lord Ash's daughter's here. Oh my god. Captain Vane and his men slaughtered another pirate crew in the bay. You pulled me away from my men out of concern for the a girl. The girl's name is Abigail Ash. Yeah, you can't do this to Lord Ash. You cannot do it. You need to obtain her from Captain Vane. Alive and unharmed, 
And you need to return her to Carolina, to her father. Uh, and when you return her, you're going to explain to Peter what it is you're trying to accomplish here. What Thomas wanted, what we all wanted. Thomas knew no one more skilled or effective at maneuvering an agenda through Parliament than Peter. We tried it before, it didn't work. It was a different time. There's no war with Spain now. Mm. Peter was faced with both those things and almost succeeded. Without them, it is well within his reach. Right. But that all depends if Peter has the same, exactly, if he has the same ideas. He hanged. Because you will have just presented him with his only daughter. And you will have reminded him that you are still the man who sat in Thomas's salon and spoke of virtue and reason and forgiveness. You know what, though? This all also depends on if Lord Ash actually really prizes his daughter. Because remember, why was she sailing alone? Why would, why? Or no, she wasn't. She was with the, sh well, she was sailing alone. Oh, right. She was coming home from school. Never mind. Never mind. I, I don't know. It just depends on the relationship Lord Ash has with his daughter. If it's not a strong one, unfortunately, I I don't think he would get a listening ear to, to Flint. Because if he's, I don't that's. I don't think the view of, of Lord Ash is the same as it was back then. I really don't. And you will remind Peter that somewhere in his heart, so is he. There is no other way once you're willing to tell the truth about your intentions here. You've been anything but clear. But the truth of the matter is it isn't for any of those things. What the fuck do you think I am fighting for? I think you're fighting for the sake of fighting. Fate in which you can function. The only way to keep that voice in your head from... Wow. You what are you talking about? Respect to Mrs. Barlow. The one telling you to be ashamed of yourself for having loved him. no way oh my god talk about pushing boundaries this makes so much sense jesus jesus thomas was my husband i loved him and he loved me what he shared with you it was entirely something else i was not ready for this heartbreak i was not ready for the amount of, of complication oh my god no wonder he's fighting tooth and nail for thomas's vision no wonder she uh, you know kind of went with the priest a little bit that wasn't the main relationship but that is the tie she is the tie to thomas that's also why he can't let her go. Oh my God. And here I thought Flint was super evil. He's fighting his demons. Alone. Kind of. Wow. It's time you allowed yourself to accept that. I understand why you guys were saying what you were saying about Flint. The only thing I'm ashamed of. Is that I didn't do something to save Yeah, yeah. It's okay. We had the chance. Flint. That instead I listened to you. Oh my god. Guilt. Oh, resentment, mourning, grief. This is breaking my heart. What the heck? It's true. I don't even know how difficult it would be to leave someone in a basically prison as you escape. And someone you loved. No wonder. No wonder he has so much tunnel vision. Jesus. This is. This revelation has been. A trip. I, 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 I very much needed to understand Flint's mindset. I will say that it was. This was beautifully written out. Oh no, 
shame. But you can do it. Oh my god! Jesus, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, that last scene was like Chucky. That, that scared the crap out of me. That was crazy. Um, hands down, one of my favorite episodes. To truly understand what happened in London and the relationship between... Uh, Miranda, Thomas, and Clint was beautiful, to say the least. I understand now why he has such a determination to create Nassau into what him and Thomas envisioned. Like, I, I get it. I get it. I get why you guys are saying like these are sacrifices that had to be made for the, the bigger picture. Like, now I understand. The, the picture was bigger than what I thought it was, I guess. You know what I mean? Like the meaning behind it, the driving force was bigger than what I initially thought. I thought it, Thomas was just like a mentor, you know, someone you you look for for admiration, right? And I thought Miranda and him were the 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 their relationship was the primary one. So that's why I was I was thinking, well, if he he doesn't want to move with Miranda, you know, clearly he, it was more, he's looking for more uh you know it looked a little bit selfish to me <clears throat> but in reality it's not it's not at all and that yeah i understand it's good I, I wonder if thomas is alive i i i'm like 90 percent sure he's not 100 percent sure he's not but i don't know i just like this 0.5 percent in the back of my head that i'm like please be alive somehow some way trapped or something Okay, I can go get him. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode with me. Please let me know your thoughts below. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a member or you can join my Patreon and watch the full episodes there. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.